schedule is preemption and release date, uh, shortest remaining processing time. Each time that a job is completed or the next release date, the job to be processed next has a small remaining processing time among the available jobs. So let's see what does that mean, shortest remaining processing time. Okay, let's see what does that mean clearly. So we have several jobs, literally we have 10 jobs as you could see here. And this is the release date and this is the processing time of the job. Shortest remaining processing time each time the job is completed or at the release date of another job, the job is to be processed. The job to be processed next is the smallest remaining processing time among available jobs. So let's consider here the first one to be released definitely is job one. Okay. This is job one. So at the release date after three date, okay, the remaining time for job one would be ten. Okay, so the job, I will repeat, the each time the job is completed or the release date, as you could see here, so the job 1 was time 13, after 3 dates the remaining is 10, the job to be processed next has the smallest remaining processing time among the available jobs, so job 2 will be next, okay, and this will take us to job 2, I have to remind you, is for 6 days, so we started it at 3, it will take us to 9, as we could see it here. So the remaining of all of them, job 2 is finished, so the remaining is, uh, well, the re least remaining is job 3 and 4, which is 18, so it's like 45, so we have to go back to job 1. Okay, so job 1, we go to 14, and uh, the remaining will be 5, and the the easiest one and we have to carry on with job 5 because here the uh, job 3 will start at 14 but the remaining is or the processing time is 8 was the remaining so we go back to job 1 and we get to 18 so the remaining is 1 we finish the job 1 and then we go back with job 4 as you could see it here and then we do the same way for all of them till we get till the end so this is the shortest remaining processing time in a sequence. Okay.